Hello and a very warm welcome to Victor Denmark Open 2021, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. Denmark, a nation of only five and a half million people, a nation focused on the whole human being with quality work time and quality leisure time. A nation paying attention to an active life for young as well as old, and of course, sustainable green solutions. I'm Orton Frost, will guide you the first five matches and will be joined by my colleague, Steen Peterson after match number two. We are live from Uense Sports Park, Denmark. Uense, the third largest city in Denmark and the hometown of fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen. Due to COVID, 2021 tournament calendar only consists of eight tournaments and the finals. Normally, we are having 27 tournaments counting. Let's hope that 2022 will be closer to normal. And the order of play for today, we have a very exciting lineup for you. The first match on is the mixed doubles, the Olympic champions and top seed in the tournament, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping of China, against the number four seeds and the Olympic champ, sorry, the All England champions from 2018 and 2021, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Hikashino of Japan. Followed by women's singles, Herbin Jiao of China, number four at the Olympics against Yagane Yamaguchi of Japan, the former world number one. After that, it's uh, the second mixed doubles and uh, Praveen Jordan and Milati Octavianti of Indonesia, the All England champions from 2020 against uh, Dijapon Kuawa Ranakro and Saksiri Tyrat Tanajai of Thailand, the number two seats in the tournament. After that, we will have a women's singles and the a surprise from Scotland, Kirsty Gilmore against uh, the new superstar from Korea, Ang se -yong. Match number five is the men's doubles and the world championship silver medalist from 2019, Takura Hoki and Yugo Kobayashi of Japan against Mark Lamsfuss and Marvin Seidel of Germany. We have another five matches coming up for you. And of course, if you look at the last two matches, the number match number nine and number 10, it's uh, the showdown between Axelsen and Momota is edging closer and closer. It's going to be a very, very exciting day here in Uense at the Victor Denmark Open 2021. So please sit back and do enjoy. And here we have the much sought after trophy for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. A trophy that will be handed over on Sunday the 5th of December in Denpasar, Bali, in Indonesia. And uh, very seldom we see that number one, two, three and four seed make it to the semi-finals, but here in the mixed doubles, it's the case in this year's Denmark Open. First match we will focus on is the top one. And here we got Wang Yulu and Huang Dongping, the Olympic champions from just a few months ago in Tokyo. The number one seats here in the tournament. And what a fantastic win it was for this pair in Tokyo when they beat their compatriots in the final. They really played solidly. And their opponents from Japan, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. It's Watanabe, the left-hander, leading the two players onto court. And they won the All England in 2018, 2021. And on top of that, they got a bronze at the Olympics a few months ago. So we have an exciting match coming up for you here. Hello? Hello? 
So we are getting ready to the toss of coin. Got a red. But look and at this. One. Ten a one in favor of Wang Yilu black. and Huang Dongping. Receive. Who in receive? the head to head Every between time. these two pairs. Serve. And uh, yeah. the Japanese side? pair won at the Hong Kong Open. But that's three years ago now, 2018. So it's an awful long time ago. And uh, one have to say that the favorites for this match is definitely Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping of China. However, I think the Japanese pair has played really well in this tournament. So I'm looking forward to this. And as you can see, Wang Yilu is 26 years of age. They are presently ranked number two in the world, but they have spent five weeks as world number one. And last time was on the 5th of July, 2018. And his partner, also 26 years of age, Wang Dongping. And of course, the same ranking applies to this pair. And they have a silver from the World Championship 2018 and a bronze in 2019, and the list is very long. Won all their matches in two straight games. Uh, they were a little bit pushed in the uh, second round against uh, Chiquel and Del Rue of uh, France, where they won the first opening set, 23-21. Is 24 years of age. They are presently ranked number five in the world, and that's based on 21 tournaments. Spent 56 weeks as number three on the world ranking, and that's over two different spells. Partner Arisa Higashino is 25 years of age, and it's a very, very strong partnership. As I mentioned, they won the bronze at the Olympics as well. Um, Ready to play. It was a fantastic win for these two guys. Yesterday, they had to work very hard in the quarterfinal against Tan Kian Ming and Lai Pei Jing of Malaysia. Won in three games, lost the first, 21-19, but then quite comfortably winning 21-12, 21-14. The umpire for the match is Henrik Boas of Denmark, and the uh, service judge is Dito of France. So I can't really wait to get this match going because I have been very much looking forward to this. Because you know, at the front of the court here, is such an agile player, very good at the front, of them, but also very strong at the back. You have a nice jumping smash, perhaps the best of all women in, in the game of badminton. So uh, she's a very exciting player to watch. Her defence sometimes is letting her down, but uh, let's see how it goes today. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Huang Dongping, and Wang Yi Lu, China. <laughs> and on my left, Arisa Higashino and Yuta Watanabe, Japan. <laughs> Wang Dongping to serve to Arisa Higashino. Love all. <laughs> Play. Japan won the toss and chose to receive. Oh. That's wide. Serves oh. over. One lock. But it's very interesting in this tournament because the two Chinese players, both of them, play the even doubles. And that's not something they've done Two, before. Lost. And uh, in uh, 
the women's doubles later today. Wang Dongping will play with her partner, Sheng Yu. So they have done really well in that women's doubles, got to the semi-final. So they are not, what would I say, fresh in the same way as they usually are, as they normally only focus on their mixed doubles. play from Higashino. Three, one. And she's one of the players that can really challenge Wang Dongping at the front of the court. And that's why this match is so interesting. And here we see the defense from Higashino not Two, really holding up. Three. from Watanabe to ensure good interception from partner. Yeah, nothing you can do about that one. Both players going for the same shot. This is the one. And then, of course, completely open court on the opposite side. one of the weaknesses Five, three. in uh, Wang Yilu's game is that deep forehand corner and that was very nicely exploited by Watanabe. play from Wang Yilu. It's not an easy shot to play this one. Play it tight enough. As you know, your opponent is there to try to close down the net. So that was a well played. Five. Oh. Showing some of his agility, Yuta Watanabe. First two smashes, and then the around the head smash as well. Just leaping from base position. Well played, 6-5 up. Serves over, 6-0. Huang Dongping managed to get back to that flick serve and add enough pressure on the smash. 
great agility. a few inches despite her very good jumping ability still couldn't get up to it just hitting the top of the frame of shots from uh, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping at the moment is quite exceptional. Forcing their opponents into mistake or defence. Here we've got the jumping smashes from uh, Higashino at the back. Exceptionally well defended by Watanabe. Eight, nine. This one here and the awareness of playing it cross court. Nine, oh. Awesome play from Higashino. And well done by keeping that one in. On the back line, the last one. Strong from Wang uh, Yilu. Very, very strong. Ten, oh, yes. Not an easy shot to play on that backhand, the last backhand. This one here, that's awesome play. goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-10 after eight minutes of play. 80% all Jumbi here. You are 80% attack, attack, attack cannot, cannot block. 80% this, 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 this. Okay? Now you have to this, pop, or pop, this. Ah, it's not this good. Ah, keep it. Oh, this. Ah, okay, ready. Then pop, and only stop. Ah, play, play this more. Okay? And this service angle. Service angle. Now, nah, George, Tanshi always center. Sunday always serve. Jumbi center. Uh, or, uh, or, 20 or, seconds. Or, opponent, basic service. 20 you serve, seconds. Or you serve angle. Or you serve so, shuttle, shuttle okay, center. Okay. okay. Eleven. Ten. Play. an easy mistake 12, from 11. Higashino. Oh. And when you play a pair like yeah. Yvonne Yilu and Huang Dongping, you cannot afford that. You really have to stay solid. Oh. 
15, 11. And twice the two Japanese players missing shots from the half-court area. First it was Hikashino, now this time it was Watanabe. And they, as soon as it's below the tape, is rather tricky. And that's wide, that's way wide. And I think Wang Yulu, Wang Gongping has been very successful after the mid-game interval to put some pressure on Hikashino and she's uh, out and away from her favourite position at the net and they have really been adding on some good pressure. Four points lead here, 15-11. is definitely favourite formation. 15. Because, you know, hunting the shuttles at the net. Ah! Serves over. 16, 13. Wipe the court, please. Well played by Wang Yilu. Thank you. But I am surprised, though, that uh, when the, the Japanese pair is sort of under pressure, they absolutely 15, refuse 13. to lift it. Perhaps they should try to play the uh, back end of the court a little bit more. A good work from uh, Wang Dongping at the back of the court. Kept it very solid. Yeah, not completely happy with that flat lift uh, to the backhand side of Watanabe, and I can understand that because he could generate a lot of power and pace from that. However, Watanabe missed it. Top of the tape, not coming over. 17-14. And that's long 18, on the back line. 14. Which means that the four point gap is restored. 18 14. Yes, good awareness from Wang Yilu. Game point setting 15. up five game points, 20 game point, 15 after 15 minutes of play. Oh, 
Long on the back line, saved the first one. 16, 20. And that's way wide, game. which means that Wang Yilu, Huang Dongping taking the opening game, game 21-16 one after 16 Wang minutes Dong of play. 21-16. <laughs> Serving to Both. Higashino. Serves over. One love. So the second game started just like the first game. Similar situation. Good return from uh, Wang Yilu. Serves over. One all. Watanabe and Hikashino really have to find some answers. Wang Yulu, Wang Dongping are playing just too solidly with great, great, great quality in their shots. And look at how Wang Yulu went out, changed his racket as we've seen so often before. Got back in position, saved and played the shot. Three. But this is a lovely oh. block shot from. Watanabe, his uh, signature shot. And the score is 3 all.
four, three. Good return of serve Seven from three. Watanabe. Four all. Yeah, once again, we see how Wang Yulu is targeting Higashino with his attack, even though he's got to go all the way across here and absolutely out of balance, out of court. Everything still is choosing to go cross court on Higashino. And I think that's telling a lot. to get out of the way Thank you. for the shuttle. Possibly thinking that was going out on the back line. Spinning Five. over, but uh, oh. did not manage to get away from it. Lost the point. <coughs> Surf. That's what uh, all doubles players need. They need to have a good surf. And this time it was uh, Watanabe doing the same, going cross court. This time on Huang Dongping. Eight, five. Again, falling out of court, but the quality in the shot good enough to play the winner. And it's a good little runner point here for Watanabe and Higashino. That is awesome. Very, very good play by the two Chinese players. First, uh, Huang Dongping at the net. This one here, but look at them. Huang Yulu stepping in, taking over and making the kill at the net. That's a really, really good play. And now they are in their favorite formation because the two Chinese are serving so well. Huang Dongping, Huang Yulu. Commentator's curse. Over. First error on the Ten. serve from uh, the Chinese players. believe that 11, seven, two service one. mistakes from Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping since I said that they are serving 
so well. Quite amazing. Into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-7 in favour of Watanabe and Higashina. Play. Over. And this time it was Hikashina serving short of the line. Yeah, way short of the line. Good judgment from Huang Dongping. 8 12. Can uh, the Chinese pair make a comeback here? Trailing four points. Work here from Higashino. Good placement from Wang Yilu. Excellent placement on that smash on the forehand side of Higashino. And the last three points for the combination in the red t shirts. Trailing. 8, 12 now, 11, 12. Closing the gap. Fantastic rally, awesome pace, and that's in, that's in. Really well played, the last one from Watanabe. Yeah, uh, Wang Yulu was hoping that one was going out, but look at that. Nicely placed by Watanabe. Over 
well. Yeah. 14. A good, perhaps a little bit lucky return from Wang Yilu. Top of the tape. And uh, Hikashina not able to control it. Very good 13, return of serve, this time 15. from uh, Huang Dongping. We need a wipe. Wipe the court, please. And we need the court to be yes. mopped. together when you reach the sharp end of uh, the games you've got the ability to close down the games that means a lot good straight smash from Watanabe 16-14 Going for power against Wang Yilu. Placed very well on the forehand side. 16 17-14. Serve from Watanabe. Ah. And this time it's 18 14 in favour of Watanabe and Higashino. Oh. Time's over. 15 18. And this, I think, is sometimes the difference between losing and winning. The fact that Watanabe was not able to put away shot like that. Played themselves into a very, very nice situation, but the winning shot at the end of the rally let them down. And that is something you cannot afford to do. Yeah, good pressure here from Wang Yilu. 17, Forcing the error from Higashino. And sometimes I think that's a tiny little difference between these two pairs. That uh, Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping slightly stronger in their attack and winning their rallies a little bit easier than their opponents from Japan. Well, well played here by Watanabe, straight down the centre. Small confusion. 19, 
17. Between the two players from China. arrived for Watanabe Higashino of Japan. 20, game point, 17. The number four seats in the tournament. <laughs> 20, game point, 17. Oh, that's not a bad idea. But it's wide of the sideline, which means that uh, Watanabe Hikishino takes the second game. 21-17, and we retreat it to a third game. game Coming up in two minutes' time. <laughs> is very well played from Watanabe. Staying in. One love. Closing the net. Ah. And that's a nice kill. Out of reach for Wang Yulu. Yeah, lovely return once again. One all. Decisive. That is decisive. That's what I like to see. Not just Two, a half one. pace shot from uh, Watanabe, but that was a full kill. Very decisive. Service <laughs> over. I don't think I can count how many times that uh, the Chinese combination have hit the top of the tape on their service returns. It's definitely quite a few. And it brings a smile to Hikashino's face. It? No, cannot happen again. Wang Yili challenges called 
out. And the serve was called out. And so it is. One challenge remaining. So one challenge remaining in this final game. Service over. If you're Three, unsuccessful, two. you lose your challenge until you have none left. But if you win your challenge, Play. you, however, keep it. Every player or every combination is having two challenges per game. I think the Chinese combination really coming out in fine style in this third game. Very aggressive. Is it okay, Yuta? Okay? Thank you. You can call well left. Higashino completely three. fooled by the drive serve here from Huang Dongping. But it was a fault and it was called. And that is exceptional. I really like what Wang Yilu is doing here. Look at how quickly he's closing down that mid-court area. It's just exceptional. Really well played. From Higashina. Five, four. Gorgeous touch from Watanabe on that shot. Just taking the top of the tape and rolling over. Four. This one here, but look at the effort from Dongping. Still get it back. And keep asking the question to Pikachino that's putting this one away. Out. I'm sure he's okay, but uh, we might have a small break here because we need to adjust. Court to be mocked. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Seven. We were okay. Ah. Wonderful Four. shot from Watanabe. Can't take that one away from him. Seven four.
the midcourt area. Nicely there. Very nicely played from Watanabe. Nine, five. So it's a 9-5 lead in favour of Watanabe and Higashino. She's a very, very agile player, Arisa Hikishino. Six, nine. And I think we come to a very crucial stage in the match. Can Wang and Huang close the gap, or will Watanabe and Hikishino run away with this final game? Once again, quality placement. Ten, six. Service over. Yep, short Seven. of the service line. Ten. I think this will mean a lot to Watanabe Higashino go into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-7. So I think this is immensely important. If you look at it from their point of view. A good strong smash here from Wang Yulu. And one, have to say once again, the defense of Higashino is letting herself down. But good power smash from Wang Yulu. This means that uh, Watanabe Higashino goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-9 and we're going to change ends. And the uh, game will resume shortly. Continue 80%. Smash, continue anywhere. You 100% percent I take and see. Continue, continue anywhere, but, but, but the movement always keep. Recovery, recover. 20 okay? seconds. Always recover. Okay? 20 so seconds. Because I take no lifting. Japan. So you only can Japan. manage up to okay. Eleven. Nine. Play. Huang Dongping really trying to pump it up, get the adrenaline going for the partnership. It's a fantastic rally. Really well played by all four players. <laughs> 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 
And she made it. Cross court, played the winner, Hikashina. Try to look at this. It's falling completely out of court, but it was a winner. And look at the smile on her face. Wipe the court, please. an awesome rally we just witnessed. 12-10. Well, what an argument. Nabe Higashino. She was expecting that reply from Wang Yilu. Anticipating, waiting for it. Look at this one here. Rack it up. Ready. And that was a nice Winner once again from Higashina at the front of the court, setting up a three point lead 13 10. Serves over 11 13. Going wide. Good block shot from Dong Ping. 12 13. Players from Japan playing around a hit smashes. They have very, very good rotational skills helping one another. Over 13, 15. And I think Huang and Huang needs to make an a final attempt, really trying to go fast attacking. Good service situation, great focus. <coughs> it's when they get into attack, their attack is much more decisive than the two Japanese players. In, it's called in. 14, 15. Good pace and power from the pair in the red t shirts. Yeah. It's not out, but it's out of reach for Watanabe. Fifteen. Yeah, that's when you don't need the string to break. 
losing very important points. That's what Watanabe did here. Fifteen, all. again Japan in the lead even though just by one point but edging closer and closer to 21 once again a racket change that's out That was one of the more spectacular racket changes we've seen in a long time. And look at how he's rushing out to get the next racket. Thank you. And Dong Ping have to dive for that one. Huang Yilu back on court, ready to defend it. And Higashino plays it out wide of that sideline. Behind you, at the net, line judge, line judge, line judge. Please wipe at the net. Thank you, Hauptmann. Thank you. So back level, 16-all. 16, 16. We are treated to a very nice match here. The opening match of the semi-finals in the Denmark okay, Open. Please. in Higashino completely lost her balance falling out of court 16, once again 16. but there was a very very good shot from Watanabe did all his best Wang Yilu really very alert on that return but the serve just too good from Watanabe. And this could be decisive. 19-16. Three-point gap at this stage in a match is usually decisive. It's definitely possible for Wang and Huang to come back. But it's a tall order. match point has arrived for Watanabe and Higashino. 20 match point, 16 need the court to be mopped. So will they manage to win a second time against their opponents from China? In the head-to-head, -head, they are 10-1 down. What an arbiter to surf. 20 match point, 16. to keep the attack, Watanabe. And I think he almost got outsmarted by his own two block shots, well played by Huang Dongping, standing her grounds very well, and then that push into the deep forehand corner, really well played. 
by Dong Ping. That's really, really well played. Defending for life, the two Japanese. I can't believe it. That's fantastic play. Awesome play by Watanabe and Hikashino. It's the first time that they have reached quarter-final and semi-final stage in the Denmark Open, and now they made it into the final for tomorrow after beating in a very worthwhile watching match. This mixed doubles against the Olympic champions from a few months ago, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping. But it takes two players to create a match like this. And this was, in all honesty, a very, very good match to watch. Hope you enjoyed it just, just as much as I did. Great fighting spirit and defensive skills here. And now is the final shot from Marisa Hikashino at the net. And look how much it means to them. Yeah. This is a happy man, Yuta Watanabe. And they won 16-21, 21-17, 21-17. In just over an hour's play, 63 minutes to be precise. And the next match coming up is the women's singles between Herbin Zhao of China against Akane Yamaguchi of Japan. After this fantastic opening match in the mixed doubles, Watanabe and Higashino into the final against. We will see a little bit later whether it's going to be Jordan and Octavianti or Boba Ranakro and Tevat Tanachai of Thailand. We will turn our attention to women's singles now. And it's Herbin Jiao, the number six seat in the tournament. And she came fourth at the Olympics a few months ago up against Akane Yamaguchi, a former world number one and winner of this tournament. Here we got the draw. And it's uh, the bottom match we are focusing on first. And 
and the court officials already on court. We're waiting for the players to come onto court. And I can from China, tell you that uh, Herbin Jiao had her Olympic debut in Tokyo.